Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is India, also known as Yes Honey Honey here on YouTube. And um, I know my last two videos have been skincare related, but I wanted to do like skincare prep for full face of makeup. So today's video is gonna be all about prepping my skin for a full face of makeup that I feel makes my skin look the best and last the longest. I have dry skin. Um, like dry as the Sahara Desert dry skin. Let me tell you what. Um, so yeah, so if you're a dry skin girl, this is the kind of skincare that I do to prep my face and my skin for a full face of makeup that lasts all day. And I'm gonna do a full get ready with me, full face, full beat makeup tutorial next. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that. And I wanna say thank you guys so much because I hit a small but big victory for me. I'm at over 225 subscribers, which by the end of the month of August, I just wanted to hit 200 and I'm at 228 right now. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for being here and subscribing to my channel. It means so much to me and I really hope to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year. So yeah, please subscribe and thank you for being here and don't forget to follow me over on instagram at yes honey honey and on tiktok at yes honey honey but let's go ahead and start prepping our skin for the day so i'm going to use some of my favorites first of all the first thing you need to be doing in life is you got to be drinking that water let me tell you what you have to be drinking your water that plays a huge factor into your skin i know it sounds crazy but i'm just letting you know so the first thing I have to prep, because I have dry skin, I also have the driest lips. So I'm going in with the Fresh Watermelon Sugar um, Hydrating Lip Balm. It smells so good. Um, and so I'm just going to prep my lips for like a liquid lip or even, even if I ended up just doing like a glossy lip. I mean, I, my lips are so dry, I have to have hydration on them basically at all times. I literally have... A lip balm in every single room of my house I have a lip balm in my car I've got like five lip balms in my purse like lip balm surrounds me because that's how dry my lips are and if my lips are dry then I'm just like I can't breathe <laughs> I'm like, I need lip balm right now okay anyway let's start our skincare prep um, I've already washed my face this morning with the skin by Kim cleanser which I talked about in previous videos. It's not my favorite cleanser, but I'm gonna use it because I have it. So my skin's already cleaned, already done all that. So now we're gonna go into our skincare prep that I do just to start off my day after my face has been washed. I'm gonna go in with the Skin by Kim Toner, AHA Gentle Exfoliation Toner. Now, this has lasted me a long time, y'all. Like, I mean, it's still going. And I'm using one of these little things that I know are not good for the environment. And when I'm done with them, I promise y'all, I will be switching to just using stuff that can be washed. Because I have been washing a lot of stuff on the environment. And I'm not trying to be one of those like crazy people that's like, don't use anything because it's all bad for the earth. But I will say, I have been washing some stuff on the environment. And it is kind of scary slash sad to see what our oceans look like and I don't know just all that so I'm, I'm gonna try and be more envir environmentally conscious like I'm trying really hard not to use makeup wipes and not buy makeup wipes as often I still buy them here and there to have because there are times where you're in a pinch and you just need a makeup wipe it, it happens unfortunately and see like I've already cleaned my skin today and you can still see some like makeup debris left over on this pad so that's why like even that little bit of that toner helps just get excess dirt or makeup left residue that's left over off of your skin then i just got to make sure my skin is dry i'm gonna go in with the um inky list bright eye cream i just got this from sephora a couple weeks ago and i have been loving it honestly i have really dark under eyes which is so annoying but pretty sure it's hereditary because my mom has dark under eyes so I guess it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with and live with but anyway so I have really been liking this eye cream and I do feel like it gives me a little bit of a brightened under eye it feels good it helps my concealer lay nicely and hopefully helps me not get crow's feet that is something that's like a fear of mine which I know is so stupid I'm like getting crow 
to speak, which I already kind of have a little bit, a little bit, but like, I'm like, I just really don't want to get crow's feet. I just, please, no, please, please, no. Now I'm going to go in with my moisturizer, which is also from Skin by Kim. And I have, honestly, I have to say out of the whole Skin by Kim line, the moisturizer is my favorite. 100% is my favorite. It leaves my skin hydrated and plump all day long. Um, I use it at night. I also kind of switch off at night though. I do switch off from using this moisturizer or using Aquaphor, which I know is like probably not the best, but that Aquaphor really like hydrates my skin. So I use Aquaphor like once a week. Instead of using um, my moisturizer, I use Aquaphor once a week, but that's just at night, not going into like a busy work, work day or just a day where you need your makeup done. So. Love that moisturizer. Leaves your skin very nice, very plump, very moisturized feeling and looking. Now, this is something that is more of like a primer, but I will say, um, which I'm gonna do my makeup in a separate video, but this is what I've been using before my primer, um, after my skincare and before my primer. And then I've just been using this, but this is the Keys Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum. I love this and you know Alicia Keys she does have that good good skin let me tell you what and so she knew what she was doing when she made this serum and I know this serum went viral on TikTok because Michaela um talked about it but I will say if you can find it in stock I just got mine from Ulta so you can get your points and stuff it is nice it smells luxurious it makes your skin look so luxurious and when you have dry skin you kind of look for stuff that's gonna give your skin a little bit of a glow and give your skin a little bit more life because you don't wanna just wear matte foundations or matte primers and stuff because you wanna have like that youthful looking glowing skin even though you're like super dry. You just wanna have like that, like you don't wanna look, you know, like because I feel like sometimes you can go too crazy with the dewy and the illuminating and then you kinda look brassy so like with me, I have dry skin, so I try and put all this stuff on my skin, but I don't want to look too much. Like I don't want too much brassy, glowy, illuminating. I want like that perfect touch. Like, cause sometimes when you have dry skin, you still can get a little bit oily in your T-zone if you use too much of that stuff. Let me tell you what I have learned from experience. So that is my skin prep. Just prep my skin for a full face of makeup, which that's gonna be in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys being here. I'm gonna link everything I used today down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.